So I have my Jupyter Notebook open here. Let's see how we can install PyTorch in Jupyter Notebook and we can run some sample code after doing that. So first, I'll create a project folder for my PyTorch project. Just call it PyTorch project. And what we need to do is we need to create a virtual environment in which we will install PyTorch and that virtual environment will be used as a kernel. First of all, hold shift and right click and click open PowerShell window here or open in terminal. Both of these things will work. So I'll just click on one partial window here. Now we need to create a virtual environment and the command is python mvenv and give any name to your virtual environment here. I'll just write my myvenv. So the virtual environment is created. If I minimize this and reload this folder, as you can see, the virtual environment is already here. Now this is an important step. So make sure you don't forget to do this. So now you need to activate the virtual environment. So to do that, just Type the name of the virtual environment and hit tab to autocomplete. And then write SCRI. Make sure the S is capital. Hit tab to autocomplete again and then type activate. Hit enter. And this will activate your virtual environment as you can see here. Now in this virtual environment, we will install PyTorch. To do that, just type pip install torch. And as you can see, PyTorch is being downloaded here. And after downloading, this will be installed. So as you can see, I have successfully installed PyTorch in this virtual environment. Now onto the final step, we just need to install and set up IPY kernel so that this can be used in Jupyter Notebook. So type pip install IPY kernel. So IPY kernel is installed. Now we will set up IPY kernel for use in Jupyter Notebook. So this is the final command. Python m ipy kernel install dash dash user dash dash name and give any name to your kernel just write I'll just write torch underscore kernel hit enter and now as you can see the kernel is also installed so open your Jupyter notebook again reload this and now if I click on new my new torch kernel is available click on this to create a new notebook using that kernel and in this notebook, we can use PyTorch. So I'll just write a sample code here. And now let's try to run this using Control and Enter. So as you can see, Torch size is printed. And I'm also getting a warning here that says NumPy is not installed. So you can also install NumPy in this virtual environment. And that, and that error will also be gone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.